Welcome back to The Jam on the U. Coco is the new Disney Pixar film that follows an aspiring musician, a 12-year-old named Miguel, who travels through the day of the dead to find a family secret. The movie opens next week in time for the Thanksgiving holiday, so let's take a quick look. You know about me? <laughs> you are all anyone has been talking about. Why have you come here? I'm Miguel, your, your great-great-grandson. I? Have a great, great grandson. We have co-director Adrian Molina in studio to chat about the new film. Hello. Hello. So Coco <laughs> is so awesome. It is a Latin-themed film. We haven't really seen an animated Latin-themed film. Uh, not in a while, and uh, this is a first for Pixar, but we're super excited about it. It's, it's part of this tradition of Dia de Muertos, and it's beautiful, and it's rich, and celebratory, and vibrant. And to be able to put that on screen, uh, I think it's super cool. It is super cool, and I also think it's important because Dia de los Muertos, a lot of people think, is like uh, Halloween, and it's mm -hmm. not. So can you tell everyone what it is? Yeah, Dia de Muertos, it's, it's, this, it's this celebration about family and family reunion. You put up photos of people that you loved, uh, and, and you invite them back into the home and, and into the family, and you tell their stories. And it's all about passing down your traditions, knowing where you came from. Uh, and in this case, with, with our main character, Miguel, um, he and his family don't always see eye to eye. So it's, it's kind of a, a way for them to, to learn a little bit more about each other. And so he's going into this alternate universe, which is Dia de los Muertos, right? Yeah, he goes into the land of the dead to meet his ancestors, uh, uh, his, his family from way back, um, to kind of unravel a little bit of a, a, a mystery in the family that's lasted for a few generations. And Pixar really knows how to get us. They have, <laughs> you know, they really pull at your heartstrings. Uh -huh. There was um, Finding Dory mm -hmm. and Inside Out, and Coco does the exact same thing. There's like this theme of the power of music and following your dreams. Yeah, we always, when we make films, we want to create something that is going to move people and touch yeah. them and, and hit them in the heart. Uh, and Coco is no different, especially because it's about family. We all come from families. We've all got these relationships that meant so much to us. So when you watch this film, especially when you watch it with your family, I just saw it with my family, um, uh, when you watch it with your family, it's Thanksgiving, and you're just reminded of all the things that you love about them, the stories that you want to know from the past. And it's such a wonderful time to be able to think to ask those questions, think to ask for those stories. So talk about thinking to ask questions. Vanity Fair said that this film um, is a love letter to Mexico in the age of Trump, mm -hmm. which I found very interesting. What do you think about that? Um, you know, when we have been developing this film, what's been completely apparent is the beauty of this tradition, the, um, you know, love of the Mexican family, and the fact that, that you know, it's, it's, a, it's a time where you can celebrate your past and your history with joy. That comes specifically from the Mexican community for this celebration, and I think that's something to be really proud of. I do too, mm -hmm. and I think it's the perfect time for this film to come out, <laughs> which is a big part of film success is timing, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's always it's always a part of the part of the it's mix. It's always part of it. Um, okay, so you have some huge names. I mean, let's chat about Anthony Gonzalez. Yes. So this kid who plays Miguel, um, uh, he's a little kid named Anthony Gonzalez. He's in every scene in this Thank film, you. and and he is is hilarious. He. Uh, brings the emotion and he can sing like you would not believe. Wait. He wants to be a, a musician in this film and he really uses that talent um, uh, in, in, in some incredible songs. And some other big names are Gael Gar Garcia Bernal yes. and who else? Uh, Benjamin Bratt, mm -hmm. um, uh, Edward James Olmos. The, 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 the talent on this film is, is, is out of this world, yeah. And I found your story to be so interesting. You wrote the script, and mm -hmm. then you were promoted to co-director. Yes, yeah. How'd that happen? It, it was just a story about um, so many things that I recognize about myself. Mexican culture, music, artistry, family. And um, you know, when you get the opportunity to work on something like this, you want to go at it with everything you got. You want to represent uh, you know, your culture and your family with all of the love and, and, and the thankfulness that, that you felt growing up. And that, this this is, this is kind of like my love letter to my family and to all oh. the people who, who, who you know, made sacrifices so that, so that we could uh, uh, achieve what we wanted to achieve. That's what the American dream is all about, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for bringing the love to the jam today. Thank you so much. Coco opens in theaters on November 22nd. 